Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the huge week for sports cards ahead and the amazing releases that you're going to be seeing at hobby stores this week. So this is kind of a precursor to the Watch Before You Buy series that we typically like to do. Uh, I'm doing this video today because... Quite frankly, there's just not much to talk about. Uh, I tried looking for some sports card news, uh, but there was no current events out there aside from that red markings uh, thing going on with Tops right now. Um, there's no update regarding it yet, but I'm going to keep an eye out for that, of course. But, you know, today I just figured i just um, talk about some new releases that you're going to be seeing on uh, hobby uh, websites and, and local card stores and things like that. Now, there will be retail releases of these two products, but not for a couple weeks. Um, if you're into retail sports cards, uh, there is going to be something new potentially hitting shelves. It's been hitting shelves here and there. Uh, it will be um, 2022 Topps Archive. So if you want to you know, buy some retail blaster boxes or whatever like that. Archives is hitting stores this week. Uh, supposedly, it's blasters are supposed to come out on the 27th, uh, according to some websites who have them for pre-sale. So I would imagine you will start to see them at this week's restock. If not this week, then definitely next week. But with these two releases coming out, I think you guys are going to want to save your money uh, towards the hobby versions of these products we're going to talk about and what you need to uh, know. So with that all out of the way, let's get into the products that we're going to be talking about. There's two products this week. Um, one releases on Friday for sure, and the other is either Wednesday or now seemingly looks like Friday as well. I have no idea what's going on. So let's talk about that one first. Let's talk about some Topps Update, shall we? So Topps Update, as you guys know, is probably the most anticipated set of 2022 uh, by far until, you know, Chrome Update comes out, which I had a question about that in, in yesterday's video. Uh, you know, people were saying, why are you hyping up this paper release? Wait for the Chrome release. Well, here's the thing. We have no idea when this is coming out. We legit have no idea when Chrome Update's even, like, releasing. Uh, there hasn't been a single mention of it at all anywhere. Um, if I had to take a guess, it's going to be January or February of 2023. Uh, you know, typically we would hear something about it right now, and it does come out pretty close to update. But this year, it's a little different, I think. Uh, release dates and schedules are all over the place, so we don't have a really solid idea when this uh, product's coming out. Um, I would like to think it's coming out in December. I, I just, I don't know though. Uh, I would like to think they're going to put that up for Christmas because I believe like people will buy that up for their, their kids for Christmas. I really do think that, uh, you know, and collectors will buy it all up. But we'll see. I mean, I don't know. But we're going to talk about Topps Update right now since we know that's coming out this week. Now, the original release date of this product was uh, October 30th. But I went to the local card store last week to buy my archives. I said, any word on update when it's getting released, when it's getting shipped to you? And he told me the 26th. So I was like, oh, okay, that's Wednesday this week. And now what I found out is I went on to various retailers like Steel City and things like that. And now they are saying the 28th, which is a Friday. Uh, so I don't know what's going off update. Um, I might have to call my LCS guy uh, tomorrow. I don't think he's open today. It's a Sunday. I don't think he's open. I'm going to have to call him tomorrow and see what's going on. Um, so I was expecting update to come out on Wednesday. It sucks that it's not because now I have to find other videos to make until Friday. But there is another release uh, we're going to talk about here in a couple minutes. So I should be, you know, good on the schedule this week in terms of videos. And of course, we're going to do a top five most valuable for update. I low-key want to do a top ten because this release has at least, I can name, probably ten good uh, 
cards in in update this year. Um, so I I want to do a top ten. I I don't know. It's just like I said, I have to see the checklist. I am kind of worried because you know there is no checklist for this yet. I I don't know why. Um, if it really is dropping on Wednesday, which I don't believe it is now, unfortunately, it's like looking more like Friday. Uh, there is still no, um, you know, checklist for this set out yet and kind of worries me. But at the same time, we know what we're expecting from this set. And I think we're all going to get what we want. I'm pretty sure. I don't have any reason to believe we're not getting rookie cards of Quan, you know, San Suzuki, Hunter Green, because we are, we have, they have no choice but to put them in the set. Now for players like, uh, you know, Adley Rutschman and Michael Harris, the third, uh, those guys are going to be in series one next year. Adley is confirmed already for series one. He was the picture they showed off the new design for, which 2023 series one is a whole nother topic. If you guys are unaware the licensing agreement between the, I think it's the Players Association and the Tops Company, I believe, has still yet to be signed. Therefore, until that agreement's signed, they can't actually put current players on cards. So it's going to be interesting to see what uh, that's all about. Uh, there's no other news regarding that. I've been having uh, people in my comments saying to make an updated video on it, but the thing is, there is no update on it. I made a video about it like two months ago now. And there hasn't been a single update on that. Um, so that's a whole other story. But, um, you know, I think update this year is going to be pretty good. We have no reason to believe it's not going to be. Uh, I expect, get your pre-orders in now. If you want to pre-order this online, do it now. You know why? As soon as this checklist releases, potentially tomorrow, I don't know when else they would do it. Uh, it's literally the week of. Uh, get your pre-orders in before they release the um, checklist, because I'll tell you why. As soon as that checklist is revealed, everything online will, will go up in price. It will. Uh, so that's why I'm saying right now, it might only go up like $10, $15, but still, if you want to save the extra $10 or $15, uh, I would get your pre-orders in today at the latest, because if they release the checklist tomorrow on Monday, which I believe they will, um, Tuesday at the latest, Wednesday, I don't know, I mean, like, like I said, this product is supposed to come out on Wednesday, but um, every online retailer is now saying Friday the 28th, so I have no idea, I'm just going to go with them and say the 28th, because Steel City did say the 26th, and I checked again yesterday, and it said the 28th, so I believe it will be the 28th. With that out of the way, now let's talk about the other release that actually does release on Friday, which is 2022 Panini Chronicles Baseball. And this set, I believe, is going to be a really fun set. Um, so just for, uh, you know, starters, uh, I, I really don't want to go in depth because that's what the Watch Before You Buys are about. But you're getting three autographs and a memorabilia card for 120 bucks. Like, you can't beat that. Like, literally. I know Panini doesn't have logos and things like that. And honestly, that never bothered me. As you see, I have two O'Neill Cruz rookie cards on screen right now uh, from Panini. Uh, it doesn't bother me seeing that there's no logo. I'm just happy that the autograph is, is in front of me. I don't care to see a logo. I just don't. Um, you know, but we have two good releases this week. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I seriously have no idea what I'm going to do yet. Because if the Phillies make the World Series, there's a good chance your boy might be going to a game. I have a friend in Philadelphia. Only problem is, is we're both in college right now. And the home games for Philadelphia are seemingly smack dab in the middle of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, um, you know, I don't know how that'll work. He's actually at the game uh, tonight against the Padres. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday night, by the way. So, you know, he's actually at the game right now. I want to go, but... It's a smack dab in the middle of the week, and I don't know if that'll actually work out or not. But if it is what it is, you know, it'd be cool to go to a World Series game, but the price is for tickets. My buddy, for two tickets tonight with his dad, he went with his dad, $1,300, four throw in the outfield, fourteen dollars or $1,300. See, I don't know if I even have the money to pay for a ticket, but, you know, that's aside the point. Let's get back to baseball cards. It's going to be interesting this week. I want to buy both of these sets. I do. But 
I'm going to prioritize update before Chronicles because I don't think Chronicles uh, will sell out online or anything like that. Um, although I think it, it should sell well because I believe all the good rookie cards and rookie autographs would be in the set. Uh, like I said, the checklist isn't out yet for that release either, so I have no idea. But I'm just going to take a guess and say that they're in there. But, you know, my birthday is actually coming up two weeks from today. So I might just wait till I get my birthday money, like, in, in cards and stuff and just buy a box with that. So I don't know. It's either I want to buy one hobby of each, Chronicles and Update, or I'm just going to buy two Update uh, hobbies and call it a day. I, I, I'm leaning towards buying, I don't know, because each set has their pros and they both really don't have any negatives to them. They, I mean, I mean, unless we see the checklist and people aren't in the checklist that we expect, but I think we have nothing to worry about for update, at least now with Chronicles. I don't know yet. That's a whole nother thing. I believe they'll all be in there as well. I don't believe they would, uh put anybody out of that release uh we do have optic baseball coming out in a couple weeks as well uh, about a month time so i have no idea with with panini uh panini is very weird with their checklists and and odds on packs and things like that so you know we really don't know what them but i don't know i want to buy either two update hobbies this week or one of each i don't know um my lcs guy doesn't get panini cards in he is not like affiliated with uh Panini in any way. He don't sell football or basketball cards. He's strictly baseball. Uh, if he does sell Panini baseball products, it is blaster boxes. It's never hobby. So if I were to buy one of those Chronicles hobby boxes, um, they're 120 by the way. I think I mentioned that, but um, I would have to probably buy it online, which I don't have a problem with. I mean, it'll cost a little bit more, but you know, that's at the end of the day. I mean, shipping is shipping. Shipping is never free unless you spend a lot of money. And for sports card sites, you have to spend like two, three hundred dollars to get free shipping on some of them. So it all depends. But to wrap this video up before we open the pack here for the day, um, you know, it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting week for sports cards. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to uh, subscribe and, and like this video. Let's aim for 65 likes. How about that? 65 likes is the like goal. For this video and if you're new hit that bell and comment what you think about all these uh, releases this week it should be an interesting week um you know we're going to cover it all on the channel here we're going to cover all the releases on the channel so uh it should be an interesting week for tops and panini um but the only thing i'm worried about and it's nothing even to really worry about is the release date uh i don't want to go to the lc or my local card store and not have it there uh, you know, I don't want to drive up there and you know, only to find it's not going to be there. I want to go on Wednesday, but if I have to go on Friday, I'm going to go on Friday. Uh, you know, I don't like going up there on weekends because it gets a little crowded up there, but you know, it is what it is. I also have to get there a little bit earlier in case it sells out because I really do believe guys, if you don't get there early enough, like let's say you live by a local card store, it's going to sell out like Chrome or not Chrome uh, update. I believe Update will sell out at local card stores. Like, let's say if they get a case of Jumbo and a case of ho uh, Hobby, um, there's only six Jumbo boxes in a case, and there's only, I believe, 12 in a Hobby case. So you're going to want to get there pretty quickly if you can on release day, either Wednesday or Friday. I I, I don't know yet. Um, you know, so make sure you guys are just ready for that. And, you know, if you want to obviously buy it, which I imagine, hey, there's Noel. I got his autograph. Mick Abel, he should be up for Philadelphia next year. Philadelphia, if they don't win the World Series this year, are going to be tough contenders next year with Mick Abel. Mick Abel, like I said, my buddy's a Phillies fan. He said this guy is, like, legit. And no autograph. That was the conclusion of the first stack in this hobby box. I want to try to get through this hobby box in time for update, but I don't think I'm going to. I have, like, 12 or so packs left, and we have a whole archives hobby box I have still yet to open, so... And a mega of galleries. So there's going to be a lot of autographs being pulled here. And I have like four mega boxes of like discounted Panini products I bought at local Walmart like two weeks ago for 20 bucks a piece, which couldn't couldn't beat that. So guys, with that being said, let me know what you think about this week's release schedule. What are you interested in buying? Update or Chronicles? I'll be interested to see what you guys have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one.